that's what my guy John did. My guy John, he's from Salt Lake City, Utah. He has not invested in real estate for a very long time. He tried it one time, and apparently it went pretty sour. He didn't give me too many details on why it didn't work out, but uh, he knows that it went bad, and he knows he's got to change things up here the next time. So that's why he came to me. He wanted to make sure he gets the advice. Now, John has $60,000 to work with, and what he wants to do is get a portfolio here in the Cleveland market Two to three properties, he's aiming to get cash flow, a net cash flow. That's a net cash flow uh, of around 300 bucks or so a month. Now, that is, uh, when I say a net cash flow, that's not just, uh, you know, the mortgage is here, the rents are here, and the stuff in the middle. That's not your net cash flow, guys. Okay, we have to back out expenses. We have some expenses that are fixed, such as taxes or insurance. And then we have variable expenses like uh, repairs, vacancy, tenants not paying rent, all that jazz. So we're going to account for all of that and hope that we can get my guy, John, at least 300 bucks a month clear, you know, that he can bank on having as a somewhat reliable income stream. Now, it is a rental property, so it's not always going to happen the same way every month. There will be ups. There will be downs. Uh, John is interested in B or C neighborhoods. As he already tried investing once and didn't really work out that well, he's not uh, trying to get into anything too, too risky. Um, he is also open to Section 8 because Section 8, in my opinion, is something that can take somewhat risky properties and make them even less risky. So with all that said, John, here is the property that I found for you today. And I am actually really excited about this particular property uh, because there's some things in here that I, I see these types of properties listed on the MLS and I just salivate over them. And because uh, they're just they're nice little hidden gems, right? Five, one, seven, three, Greenhurst Drive, Maple Heights, Ohio, four, four, one, three, seven. Little CB class suburb, right? You know, pretty decent. Uh, it's perfect for what we want to do. This property listed 13 days ago for $60,000, okay? Now, this is why I love these properties, okay? As far as the photos go, first we have just a very basic picture of the front, and next we have nothing. We, we don't got shit, right? That's it. That's all the listing agent put out there for us, just one photo, Nothing really to go off of. As far as the public remarks, nothing really to go off of here. Newer roof, mechanicals in great shape. That's all we have. Now, the home is rented for $857, okay? So if someone were to purchase this property, three bed, one bath, you get $857 a month in rent or $10,284 a year. Now, if you were to break down the numbers on that, that eight fifty seven a month, ten thousand two hundred eighty four a year, as far as the expenses we're going to need to factor in, forty two bucks repairs, maintenance, vacancy, and non payment, capex, forty two bucks for all those. Even though the agent said the newer roof, um, and mechanicals all in great shape, we got to factor that in because eventually, you know, all roofs. You know, they're typically going to last you like 30 years. Eventually, you're going to have to spend five, six, seven thousand $7,000 replacing that roof. It's a small little bungalow. It's probably only a $5,000 roof. But you got to factor that in, right? So we're going to save 42 bucks, knowing that every 30 years you got to replace that, right? Uh, as far as taxes go, 166 a month. As far as insurance go, you got to have insurance, 80 bucks a month. Uh, John, if you have other rentals or everyone else watching who's got other rentals, John, I know you don't have other rentals. You tried that once. It didn't really work. But anybody out there who's interested uh, – in getting a quote to lower their insurance premium for their rental properties, uh, go ahead and click the show notes below. I've got a link to our insurance company, the Hogue Insurance Agency, my associate Kevin. He will get you a quote for a property like this. Should be about 80 bucks a month. So if you have a property similar to this and you're paying more than that, let us know. We should be able to beat that uh, premium down for you. Uh, back to the numbers, though. Water sewer, estimating that's going to be about 75 bucks a month. Lawn care, nothing. You don't have to pay lawn care. That's 
That's a, that's a good feature to single-family homes, right, John? You you said you'd be open to duplexes, but you preferred single-family homes, probably because of the vacancy. It's probably lower. Tenancies last longer. You don't have tenants fighting with each other. And another thing is you don't have to deal with the lawn care, right? You put that on the tenant. So that saves you a little bit of money. And then uh, property management, that's going to be 85 a month. So on this property that rents for $857 a month, you should reasonably expect to spend, on average, $532 a month. It's going to leave you with an NOI of $325. Now, what we want to do, John, we want to finance this bad boy, right? So to do that, you're only going to need 15 Gs, right? I'll get a lender to loan you the other $45,000, and that's going to be over 30 years low interest, man. Guys, interest rates are so freaking low right now. I was talking to Tommy. He was looking at the latest interest rates. It's even lower than what I put into uh, the the mortgage calculator on HoltonWise.com. Just so you guys know, if you're trying to run the numbers on these, we have a mortgage calculator for you. So you want to see what the payments are going to be on these particular properties. Go to the tools and resources section of HoltonWise.com. And that particular app that we utilize, it takes like a an average, right? And I think it was like 4.1 is what it quoted me out. But Tommy said he even seen some stuff down at 3%. So, you know, shop around for those mortgages, guys, or talk to all my lenders. If you guys uh, do not have your own lenders, just send us an email, sales at holdenwise.com, and I'll get you that list. Uh, but anyway, with all that said, even with like the 4% quote I had, the mortgage only comes out to 228. And this is the name of the game, guys, stretching those funds, especially if the interest rates are going to be this low, guys. You got to borrow that money. Why it's low, man. Hit it. Why it's hot. Hey.